Hello, we are back from our very short break of we want to continue to talk about Doctor Strange. There is a massive thing we have not talked about, uh, and and we knew that we were not going to get to in that video. Um, but so halfway through the trailer, Mark, um, there's a certain person that 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 shows up. Now we don't see his face, but we see. A part of that glorious cue ball. We do. And, and that voice... And it's not Jason Statham. It's not Jason Statham. Confirmed. It's not. I wish the transporter was in this. Can you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but, uh, but uh, Patrick Stewart's in this fucking movie. I, I, I think it's pretty clear from, from what we've seen that Patrick Stewart is in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, which has to be Professor X. Um, oh, yeah. with, with the way that they introduce him as well, you can kind of even almost see him rolling forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and after No Way Home, of course, we know that they don't give a fuck about who they're bringing into these oh, movies. No. <laughs> they, they, they don't give a shit. So first off, if Professor X is here, then that means that We've already established that the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films are essentially canon at yes. this point. Yes. Oh, yes. They're so, part of the multiverse. Right. So at this point, this has to be leading to the fact that the 20th Century Fox X-Men movies are also canon um, in their own way. So I can't imagine it's just going to be Professor X. I, I they, cannot imagine. I feel like, so we can bring this into, you know, who do you think is going to be in this fucking movie, right? Professor X... Yes, pretty much. I mean, he's the UCM. Yeah. Right? But, like, man, I want Wolverine so bad. Dude, so I... I, just, I want Hugh Jackman I, so bad. I don't, see, I don't see a world at this point, especially mm -hmm. after No Way Home, that Hugh Jackman does not show up in this yeah. universe. Even if it's a throwaway little cameo. Right. Like, he, 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 come on. I, I, I feel like... I feel like... Yeah, no, I know. I know. I if feel like... In this movie, I, I myself will edit him into the movie. <laughs> I will do it. I will take on that burden for the good of mankind. Now, that's the thing, though. It's like, so do we think that this is... Do we think... You know, this is obviously... Introducing the X-Men into the Marvel mm -hmm. Universe is going to be massive. Yes. I, I, I feel... It's basically it's, rewrite it like... The, the rules were out of the window. You threw them out the window now. Exactly. And I feel as though that... The X-Men are so essential to Marvel that I feel like that either in this phase or the next phase, it's, it's going to be so concentrated on the X-Men because we haven't had them for so long exactly. and they're so important. Yeah, so, do most of these, I mean, almost all of these story beats we've had, right? Ultron, uh, the Infinity War, Civil War, all of these included X-Men in the right. comics. Yeah. And yeah. they had to like strategically tip, I mean, look at Wanda. Like, the amount yeah. of shit they had to do to make yeah. her not a mutant. Yeah. And she's, Quicksilver, too. Yeah, she's yeah. a miracle. Oh, okay, yeah. man. <laughs> right. That like, was that was so weird to me. Yeah. I remember in Age Ultron, I did not like her at all. They they helped a lot with her with WandaVision. Yes. Um, yes. And Civil War a little bit. They did, they did flesh out a little bit in there, too. Absolutely. But, um, but so with... So, so that's what I'm saying. Is do we think this is the movie where they're truly gonna open the floodgates on this, or do you think that they're gonna tease it a little bit more? I think. I think. So, I know that they're making an X Men movie. They are making an X Men movie. I mean, is. I don't know for sure, but they have. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's in their little like roadmap thing. Okay. Yeah. So they're making an X Men movie, but like, to your point, we don't know what that's going to entail. We don't know if that's going to be the, here are the X-Men, or I don't know if, we don't know if this is going to be the, the X-Men are a thing now, and that leads the way into the X-Men getting their spotlight in their own movie. Right, absolutely. Right? They can introduce them here and be like, hey, these X-Men, they're here, they're ready to party. <laughs> and then they get their own movie, you know? Right. And so and, and as far as, so let's say they do bring a couple of people in. Yeah. So say, let's say like, you know, they got Professor X, they got Magneto, they oh my got, god! You know, I, why have I not even? Oh my and god! Honestly, and that's the thing. Like, think about all the shit that's gonna happen with him and Wanda. Wait, is is is? I cannot believe I can't remember his name. Is he alive? The person that played Magneto? Uh, Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Uh, is he alive? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I hate that I'm asking honestly, this so question. Honestly, so many people have died. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, I don't. I actually don't know. That's I, how. That's. Oh, of course, Patrick Stewart's alive. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm gonna look that up really quick. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like while we're talking, because because holy shit! Aside from 
the man that we will not name yet because he's coming later. Oh yeah. Magneto is is absolutely my favorite villain oh, uh, when it comes to to Marvel comics. Uh, let's see, Ian McKellen is he alive? He is eighty two years old and still kicking. <laughs> oh my god. So, so, I mean... He could, or Michael Fassbender. They could have either one. That's true. They could that's have either true. Magneto. Because it's the multiverse. True. Yeah, absolutely. And both of those Magnetos exist in that oh, universe. Oh, man. So, that so brings who up, knows? That brings up a really good point. So, so basically, when it comes down to it... You, we want you. Of course we got it. Like, like, we're like, you. Like, if there's any other X-man they're going to bring in other than Professor X. And, like, if they and, had... And X-Man. And, 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 there and, is an X-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, other than that, we know if, if they were like, gun to your head, only one, I mean, it's impossible it's not Hugh. It yeah, has to yeah, be Hugh. Yeah. I just wonder if it's going to be now. But I can't imagine that if they bring the older X-Men in in any capacity... That they're going to be staples. You know what I'm saying? Do yeah, you, do you? I can see. So here's the thing. I th- can see Patrick Stewart still being around, but I can see him being like the yeah. That's because like this is what I love is I love that we're getting to the point now where we're talking about alternate dimension versions of characters just being around. Yeah, like like the fact that in like the comics you had Peter and Spider-Man and then Ultimate Spider-Man and they were both two stories going on at the same time and they can just pop in and out one yeah. fuck ever. Yeah. That's great. So now we kind of have that. Like at any point in an X-Men say say they completely recast all the X-Men and it's just new people, right? Yeah. At any point Packers do if you just show me like, yo, I'm Professor from another dimension. You're all fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> like they can easily do that. Why not? Right. No, absolutely. So like man, oh, but yeah, we I definitely we definitely want Hugh. We got to have Hugh. Right. Magneto a Magneto. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah, Mag- yeah, yeah. I, mean, I would I mean, love I, mean. I would love Ian McKellen, but like Michael Fassbender does a great job as well. Yeah, He's no, he a really great does. Magneto. Um, I really liked First Class a lot. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, was good. yeah. And, and um, that that was that's an interesting one. It's because I was thinking a uh, main reason why a lot of these X Men they would bring in is, you know, let's face it, they're old. You know, mm-hmm. these actors are, are getting up there. You know, Hugh, I think, is in, like, his mid-50s, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. But with Wolverine, it doesn't matter as much. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Cyclops, you know, Gene, you mm-hmm. know, all that stuff. It's just, I, I don't I don't see them dedicating, like, a whole ten years to characters that have that are pretty yeah. old. So, and it, but, it, mm-hmm. real quick, uh, before you say, uh, the first class ones. Oh, yeah. Fassbender could actually pick up and go. Like they exactly. they can they can make a whole thing. So, I didn't even consider that. So here's the thing. Like I, I, I like the original X Men for what they did, and I there are people who are just staples. Like Wolverine in my mind is Hugh Jackman. Absolutely right. But I am all for recasting some of the other ones because honestly, some of the other ones were kind of disappointing. Like Rogue. Are you kidding yeah. me? Like, when I was little and I saw Rogue, I was like, that is a bad bitch. Like, she, like, she <laughs> no. was always, like, the fact that she could walk, walk walk up to a sentinel, beat a sentinel's ass, or being like, hey, what's going on, sugar? And just fucking wrecking that <laughs> shit. Like, that was great. And then you see fucking emo Rogue, I can't kiss my boyfriend. Like, get yeah. the fuck out of here, no, you're man. Right. I remember as a kid watching the X-Men movie and being legit confused yeah, by Rogue. Yeah, you, you realize like, like, that Rogue pulled back. Bandit. Yeah. Or not Bandit, Gambit. The coolest fucking dude in the X-Men. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Rogue pulled him. And then it's like, yeah, I'm Iceman. And I can't, like, get out of here. Like, they better cast some heavy hitters for no, Rogue I, I want, like, a Marvel Gambit. versus Capcom Rogue. Like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. She was awesome. And I loved how empowering she was. Yeah. She was like, I'm a bad bitch. Yeah. I'm going to take your shit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the strongest person in the fucking X-Men. Yeah. I, like, and, and, and even in, in the show, in the, in the the show that they're coming out with the, the sequel. Right? What is Ooh. what is that? Oh, yeah, my dude, God. actually, man, you know be, you know be fucking nuts? <laughs> you know be nuts? What if this Professor X is Professor X from X-Men 97? Oh, my God. Oh my, god. oh my god! That would be so. What if the Illuminati is just all Professor X? What if it's what if it's Patrick X's? Stewart Professor X, animated, animated Professor, Professor X, X. <laughs> comic um, Professor X? Um, what's his name? Uh, um, uh, oh, what's his name? The young Professor X from the from first class. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't remember name? his name. Uh, the actor. Yeah, he's good too, though. Yeah, oh, hey, I love hey, him. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's good too, but though. Yeah, but like, 
Oh, that, that would was, be awesome. That'd be awesome. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I, I love that com- that that show because like it was so it had its own mythos. Like, right. Because like the fact that Rogue could they just made Rogue be able to fly. Yeah. Because like yeah, she took Captain Marvel's powers. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. And they just ran with it. Yeah. They just ran with it. that was fucking awesome. But yeah, I, absolutely. I would I would love if they they just like like I would be. Fully welcome to recasting, though, like the the kind of like the younger X Men. Yeah, but like I gotta see Hugh again. Yeah, Hugh gotta, has to. I gotta happen. see him. I now I could also see Hugh existing in the universe as like an old man Logan. Like yeah, Logan. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I could I could see there being can, like they can just pull that Logan. Yeah, be like, uh, absolutely. This is Logan from Logan right before. You, you saw Logan. True. Well, doesn't he technically die in that? Oh, he's not technically. He dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just never know with Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. If you haven't seen Logan at this point, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, they could just be like, we pulled him from that universe right before he died. Yeah. Holy shit, they could even, if they, man, dude, the Cause, Cause the Fox, the Fox timeline is already all kinds of It really stuff. is, yeah, yeah, Every, yeah, it really is. At, at, right when they t- try to do the Days of Future Past story, yeah. whatever that. I really like that movie, though. It was great. Hey, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what is time? What yeah, is going on? For like, sure. How many different timelines are we working with? Like, what kind of time travel is this? Are, yeah. you, are you changing your timeline or, or making a new timeline? Like, what? There was a lot going on. Damn, dude. It, but just thinking about the possibilities, like you're talking about bringing him in for Logan, they could even bring in the, I guess, X-23 from that movie, and now she's older. Like, they could be like, hey, now I'm grown up. And, 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 and she's in a legit part of the MCU now. And the, and the perfect thing is, in the comics, she is the new Wolverine. So they can just make her the new Wolverine. They can just do that. They can literally have a whole movie where it's old man Logan and X-23 in the MCU, and it's him, like... Kind of training her, yeah, to be the new Wolverine. Oh my god! Man. Boom! There you go. Like, uh, man, god, man, there's dude. Things. The possibilities are insane. Yeah, they can do so much. So, so we we talked about our, our X Men once. I I want I want uh, Quicksilver. The Quicksilver we saw in Wandavision. Yeah, I want, I want there to be some kind of like what the what's going man, on. And considering what we were dissecting about the trailer too, how there might be a Wanda from Wandavision. Mm-hmm. What if like the real Quicksilver fu- met like the fake Quicksilver? <laughs> There can be so so much that can happen. So I would love that. I would love Magneto, as we said. I would love. Um, I would love. I'd like to get kind of weird. I like some kind of like obscure people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like for example, let's think. Like, uh, like put fucking put fucking Ben Bishop isn't obscure, but like Bishop would be Can cool. you imagine? <laughs> How has he not been in a movie? Yet? He's in, he was in uh, Days of Future Press. Bishop was in there. Oh, that's right. He, he was. was. Like, I think I only saw that movie once in yeah. theaters. But, right. but, like, yeah, it, yeah. but like, he's like a staple. Like, yeah, he should be in a lot. But yeah, they they could do they could do so much. Like fucking Toad, put Toad in there. <laughs> like, why not put him in there? Like you know, honestly, I'd be psyched to see Halle Berry. <laughs> when we're I, I was about, thinking about her moment with Toad. You know, when we're talking about recasting people. She's not a part of the conversation. She's still like, <laughs> yeah. She was. I loved her. No, as she was. She was great. She I, I like her too. I liked her a lot too. They, yeah. she, now I and will she say, can pull it off still. I will say, give her a new hairstyle. Give her the mohawk. Yeah. Remember yeah, that shit? Yeah, Ooh, that yeah, thing was sick. Yeah. I was like, damn, Storm. That'd be dope. Yeah. Who's, who's oh. your hair person? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. That'd yeah. be dope. Can you imagine if it's just like, like, what if they like? It was a mix. It was a mix of the the younger cast yeah. and the older cast combined. Yeah, like that's what I'm just. I guess what that's what I'm wondering is is I you know because one of the things that we love about No Way Home is mm-hmm. the fact that the the people that showed up they weren't simply cameos. Yeah. It, it was they it was were very, in the movie. They were in the movie, mm-hmm. but it works a lot better with that because you know this was a, a one time thing. And this was closure for yeah. them. So it's not like even though I adore Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, they he's not signed on for eight more movies yeah. because that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah. So it's like, I kind of feel that like w- we are going to have the X-Men in the future. Like the, the X-Men are going to be staples, Yes, but how are they going to do it? Like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Well, it's just I mean, like, the, like I said, like if there has to be some kind of no way home esque, like rewriting. Yeah. They have to be like, 
X Men are now like realities change, and mutants were just always here. Yeah, I I, I think so, and, and, like and also I feel they could even go with kind of a similar No Way Home thing, to where it's almost like the old guard kind of sends off a new guard mm-hmm. type of thing, like you know Hugh or I mean I love to see Cyclops. I I don't think mm-hmm. that I don't think that uh, what's his name I, I don't remember I it. Forgot his name, but uh, remember. he played Superman too, and I don't think he was like necessarily an exceptional Cyclops, mm-hmm. but like I'd still like to see him. Yeah. Um, but like so. Like, will it be a situation where, like, the old Cyclops is sending off a new Cyclops? And and, and are we going to go that far in this movie? When it comes down to it, this is still a Doctor Strange movie. It may, I mean, it may just be, it may just be that, like, Patrick Stewart's there. It may, it, and that's the thing, it may just be, like, the, the top top. So maybe we may get Patrick Stewart, or we're going to Patrick Stewart. Maybe we get Magneto, maybe get Wolverine, but I think that's it. I don't yeah. think we're going to get super, like... I agree. Like, I think so, too. If, if we get anybody else, it'll be somebody, like... For a reason, like Quicksilver. Like, yeah. Quicksilver would make sense because of WandaVision. For sure. Because of Wanda, because he's, you know, Wanda's brother. That would and be crazy. That would make sense of, like, yeah. them rewriting things where, like... The reason why the reason why I think Magneto, Wolverine, and Quicksilver are going to be in it. Because Wolverine just makes sense because Wolverine, yeah. right? Everyone wants to see him. Yeah, just, in terms of just regular star power. He is the Toby of... Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms yeah, yeah, of just yeah, yeah. star power, you want to see Logan in yeah. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... Besides him, in terms of things that just make sense, I feel like Magneto and Quicksilver make sense because they are directly related to Wanda. Yeah, yeah. I so agree. when this when they change things, this new status quo could be like Wanda waking up and like Magneto's there and is going, "How are you doing, daughter?" or something like that. And like it, they establish that <sighs> Wanda is now officially Magneto's daughter. What if? Oh, this is probably not the case, but what if this other Wanda we're seeing is like actually Magneto's daughter? Woo! <laughs> like, like, as I said, like they could be. And what, what if? What if that Wanda takes our Wanda's place? Like, what if go. that Wanda's like? I, or what if there's some crazy Scarlet Witch multiversal tomfoolery and they fuse together to make one Wanda? Because she's a Nexus being. Yeah. She's a Nexus okay. being. So maybe it's like. I am just Wanda now. Yeah. And I am Wanda for these two universes, which means all of my shit is combined. Well, and so much of what we talked about, Wanda is almost kind of repairing her character from when she was initially introduced. Because when she was initially introduced, it was so haphazardly. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, we don't like, have X-Men. Yeah, this isn't, she's not Magneto's daughter. Yeah. She's not, I mean, all this stuff is so weird, but now it's like, they can fix all yeah, that. Yeah, they can be, like, by forming them together, it's like, you're now Magneto's daughter. Again, you're now, you are now the Wanda that everybody really knows. We fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like, so they, that's, that's why I I think those X Men will be in it. I think I, yeah. I would. I would like that. Yeah. In terms of non X Men people, because we saw we saw the Illuminati seats, right? Yeah. So 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 who's your draft picks? For, for <laughs> well, what you brought up in the trailer was super interesting about that mm-hmm. guy with with the thing. Yeah, it looks it back. looks like a sword. I, I I think you're right, and I think that man, like I I feel like Blade. You know, I love the character, but I don't feel like he's ever really been defined by his intelligence. So it's no, like, but but he does. But I think the thing is, I don't think it's just straight up intelligence. I think it's just what like what those people know about their thing. Because like his thing is like vampires, werewolves, that 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 kind of supernatural element of the Marvel universe. Mm. And we don't really have anybody besides Strange. And Strange is more of like mystical. Mm. He's more like magic, but he's like vampires and shit, like yeah. all, yeah, all right, like the right. horror type stuff. So like Blade is kind, of, like, I would say he's like the vanguard for like Blade, Moon Knight, Ghost yeah. Rider, yeah, all these absolutely. like the the Midnight Midnight Suns. Yeah, exactly. That's ba- like that's basically yeah. Blade. Shit. Yeah. So I, can, I can see him being like, okay, we need vampires. Blade, what do we do? And he's like, okay, I know you do this. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you're right. I don't think Blade would do it. But I feel like if they're like, Blade, if you don't do this, the universe is going to get erased. We're trying to help you. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Right? Like, so, like, I can see, I can see maybe, but but more likely to me, I think it's Deadpool. It's just, also, I, I think it could be, but it's just Deadpool and the Illuminati, I think, really? Honestly, <laughs> I, see, I, I know, I, I feel you. But that is such a fucking Deadpool thing to do. Yeah, no, I love, it. Like, I love like the idea, would, and I think it works. He would absolutely crash the Illuminati. I, I, I love it, but it's just like, how would they let him in? Like, what would they? I think, how? I think, I think the only reason why they let him in is because, or not let him in, but I don't think they're letting him. I think they're, they're using him because they're like, you just know things 
about all these universes. Yeah. Because he mentions the MCU in his universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. For so sure. he knows about it. He also knows about Absolutely. his own. He knows about the past. If you need someone that knows how to cross over universes, he's your right? fucking guy. Because hey! he, he, he knows he's in a fucking comic and a show and, a, and a movie. So, like, it, it makes sense to be like, he knows something. I don't know how why he knows where, like, it would make sense that they're experimenting on him. Yeah. That makes more sense. And yeah. maybe he comes out and yada, yada, yada. But, like, there is somebody that's walking that has something on their back. I, like I just a, had a bit of a crazy thought, even though it's not that crazy, but the only other people I can think of is that if, if we're going into X-Men, what if it's Gambit? But why would it be in the... I don't know. <laughs> why would the other people be Because, like, at least Deadpool, like, has... We need a, we need a Cajun up there. Oh. <laughs> Asian Cajun. But, like, like, at least Deadpool knows about other dimensions. Like, right. Gambit's just cool as fuck. Unless right. like, we need some cool guys up here. But get Gambit, Gambit knows up. about love. He doesn't know about love. He knows all about I love. I mean, he's... Gambit... If Gambit's with Rogue, he's doing all right. <laughs> he's doing just fine. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, like, it could be so... so, so, so I, I love those series. I just... I, I just... I, I love the idea of Deadpool being up yeah. there. I just, I just feel like... I don't, I don't know how it would work. I don't know how it would work. Yeah. But I feel like if there was a movie to introduce Deadpool into the MCU... This is that fucking movie. Yeah. A movie called Multiverse of Madness. That's dead. Like, come on. <laughs> Even if it's him just being like, yo, what's up? I'm here. Bye. Yeah. And then just leaving. I'll see you next. I'll see you in. Like, hell, I would say Deadpool could do some shit. Like, come. he pops into the movie and be just like, hey, guys, it's me, your boy, Deadpool. I'll see you. I'll see you 2024 when my movie comes out. <laughs> and he just dips. And, like, that is the actual date his movie comes out. Like, I could see him. Basically promoting his own movie. Yeah. In the movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's dead. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button, guys. It's dead. Like, I can totally see him do it. So like, that would be fucking great. I would. I, would, I love it. I love the. I would I, love that. I, but, I feel like the guy in the in the in the trailer that you pointed out is it, got a walk that isn't very Deadpoolish. Yes. yes. Um, I, I think does it, see I think more it, Blade. It may be. Yeah, I think I could see Blade. I could yeah. See yeah. Like, like Katana, I could see it. I yeah. See it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So we got that. Uh, Man. Also. That you is, know, oh, yeah. so oh, my I brain would, is exploding. I would love, I would love, um, Superior Iron Man, like we talked about. That'd be that'd cool. Be great. I'd, I'd love to see a different Tony Stark, Stark, Tom Cruise. That'd be yeah. great. I'd love to see him in the full Superior Iron Man, the Endo armor. Right, armor. right, right. That'd be awesome. I'd lo- they have to, I want to see Reed. Man. Because, why would he, why would Reed Richards not be on an Illuminati. That's true. It's like, Are you kidding yeah, me? no, you're you're totally right. And also, it's like it, without with this movie being what it is, if they don't at least somehow because, introduce the Fantastic Four. Because Fantastic Four is also a Fox property. Yeah, it's like so, how, how can they miss this movie? Like what whatever if, this. If is. there's gonna be a movie where you're introducing the smartest man in Marvel Comics, essentially, like yeah, it's this movie. No, I can. When you're I, showing I, yeah. a multiversal Illuminati, especially. With all the stuff from Loki, oh, because God. Kang is a descendant. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Ooh, of Reed, I don't want to think about it. Oh man, what if, what if Victor's on it, dude? What if Reed? What if and, Victor's what if on Reed it? and Victor? Are oh on it? no! And they're just shitting on each other the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I, 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 oh, oh my God, I can't. I, I feel like so, I feel so, like Victor wouldn't be introduced in that way. But what? So here, oh, so, so here, God. here's what I think. I think this is very likely to get. I think we're very. I think so reading. too. We, and I yeah. think what would be cool is, Doom can be an after credit scene. Like it could show like the new status quo. It shows like Reed because like, remember like we said. I'm almost scared to see right? him, dude. Like like, like like legit. I like I. I uh. Remember we were saying at the end in the way home where it's like we would like to see, the Fantastic Four introduced into Spider-Man because Spider-Man messes with them a lot. Yeah, yeah. So like it'd be great if it's like you know you see the new status quo reality changes. You see. The fan, or just read at least, going into the new Baxter building. It's in New York, and he's kind of like you know setting stuff. And he's like, oh, this, this is gonna be look good or whatever. And then like, it cuts to like somewhere in Latveria, and it's like just doom, and it's like, oh and he's just sitting on a throne or something like that. And then he's like, something to imply that he knows everything that's been happening all along. Or something like that. That'd be so. Man, that's so <laughs> I don't, I'm like it's oh. one of those things I don't even want to think about. Like I legit don't. Even, yeah. I don't want to talk about Victor until I see him. I, I, like, I, like, I, like, so, like, so let's, let's forget about that. Yeah. Right? So, so, we, so we got we got Reed. Yeah. Reed, Reed would make sense. I think I think yeah I think yeah we've isolated we've, Professor X is here. Yeah. And I, I think Reed is a high chance. Yes. I do. I will say I think this is a good opportunity for them to introduce 
a variant Black Panther. See, I, I almost brought that up earlier. Because Black Panther was it? Well, he was kind of in the Illuminati, yeah. and he, and he kind of fucks with it every now and again. But he's not really like a, a for sure, for sure member. But it would be cool to see like a different version of it. Doesn't have to be T'Challa. I mean, it could be it could be Killmonger, right? It could be yeah. a different version of Killmonger where he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, or like in like whatever, where it's just like like in What If, where like there's a the episode with Killmonger where it shows like What If Killmonger saved Tony. Yeah, I, whole, I didn't. I didn't watch that one yet. There's yeah. a whole. That's a whole. Okay, cool. it's, just, it's just showing Killmonger's like yeah. path if he if he saved Tony. Okay, like it's, it's, it's literally the scene from Iron Man One where he lands the 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 missile is there and he's on his phone and he's like, oh fuck. Oh yeah, and you, you did see, tell me about this. You see Killmonger okay, just roll yeah, up and yeah, just take yeah, the missile yeah, yeah. and yeet it into the fucking. Yeah. Thing. But, but yeah, like I, that would be interesting. I because was think, go ahead. Sorry, that, that would kind of like set them up to future proof themselves to kind of like address the whole yeah you know because like you know it's, it's so it's so I, tragic i, I was that thinking way. that earlier when we're, especially when we we're talking about storm the mohawk it's like it's so sad we're talking about all this multiverse stuff and we haven't brought up black panther because right it's just like we yeah. don't know what's going on with yeah. that it's, and, it's so sad because it's like yeah. chapman Bosman did so well yeah man he just he was so good he really was as black panther and like honestly i if if we're keeping it in our universe i would like umbaku to be Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty dope. Yeah, pretty dope. yeah I, I agree. It's, yeah. I feel like he's been pretty underutilized. Yeah, because he's, um, I mean, I mean, remember, in Black Panther, in the final scene, when everybody's having all this high-tech shit, and they're fighting. Yeah, he's just crushing people. He's literally, <laughs> he's literally beating people's ass with a fucking stick. <laughs> Everyone else has, like, sonic weapons and armored rhino, and he's like... And just throwing people like they're fucking pieces of trash. Be, like. It would be a great full circle for him because he's the first person that fights T'Challa in the movie. If I, I mean, he wanted right. he wanted yeah, to be like he Panther. wanted to he, he lost. was he was trying to test to be the like right Panther. absolutely. And then so. he helped save T'Challa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it makes but any, anyways, yeah. like, so that would be interesting. What if what if they did Namor? Because Namor oh, is man. part of it, and Namor is rumored to be the antagonist yeah. for. I could definitely see Namor. I could definitely see. I almost could completely you, forgot about it. Can him. you imagine them introducing Namor and then in Black Panther 2 he pops up again to like take over Wakanda? Oh my god. That's, that's that's the yeah. that's the thing. Like, I, I, yeah, that would be so fucking high. Oh, let let man. let's let's say that. So first so generally thinking Reed X they're high. And I would say Hugh why might not as high. I can I, see Hugh just I can see Hugh just having a cameo yeah i don't I, I don't see hugh having a major part in the movie yeah. like andrew garfield and um and toby i can see him playing more of a j jonah role and, where he's just yeah. he's there and he contributes but he's not like a main person right in the story. but i could also see them saving him for a future movie yeah like a more x-men I, focused i movie. can see them teasing him yeah yeah exactly. and then having his actual like, all right, let's do this. Like you could definitely see X be like, you talk about like maybe his experience, like oh with Logan and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that, or oh there was someone I knew that, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, so let's say this. Let's say let's say there's five people on this. I think, I think there was six. I think there was six. There's six. six seats, yeah. Okay, so let's say there's six people. On this. Let's put in our predictions on who we think these people okay. are. For me, I think Professor X. Mm -hmm. um, I love the idea of Reed, and I think he's there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I love the idea of Namor. Mm -hmm. and, and he is part of the actual Illuminati, so I would say that. Other than that, I'm trying... I, I, I so the, the actual members from the comics... Strange, Namor, Strange Namor uh, uh, Black Bolt. Black Bolt, Reed, Tony, X... I think yeah, that's, that's it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Black, and then T'Challa kind of. He's so, he's like a he's like a he comes in and goes. He's he's not a official official member. It's kind, yeah. of, kind of like how like Wolverine's an Avenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I would say I think those three I, I will bet on. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would think of the other three though. So I know this and this this is this is uh, with other information from like the posters but I was watching a breakdown of like the poster for Multiverse of Madness mm -hmm. that poster's dope it's the poster box like with like the shatter shit whoever designing these things Dude. give them a raise oh my god they are, <laughs> they are not they are knocking out of the that poster game. honestly reminds me of the older Raimi posters too I like that it's not mm -hmm. as focused on just stacking people on people exactly. it's like it's very focused on oh it's yeah. such a great poster but in one of those sh the, those shatters are hiding a lot of shit like hmm. all the shards one of the shards has Captain Carter's shield. Hmm. It has Captain Carter from the first episode of What If Shield. Huh. 
See, I like, could hey, definitely see a, a Captain I, America variant. Well, on here. well, I mean, it makes sense because that's like, did you watch the first episode? Of I did. Yeah, that's yeah. That's literally what she does. The yeah. whole thing is she goes into another dimension. Like her whole, her entire thing is I, I left my dimension to go into another dimension. Yeah. So like, it would make sense to have. I mean, it. it I mean, it's straight. It's straight up on the poster, right? Yeah. So it's like, if she's not on the Illuminati, she's involved somewhere. They're going to either reference her or hell, we may even see a live action like have. The person who played Agent Carter, yeah, just just put her put her up, give her a fucking shield. You know what I mean? Like she's been underutilized for a and, while. And too. they they were, I think there was a rumor that they were bringing her back, and I think they were saying something about like a live action something. But like this would be perfect for that. Yeah, so I, I would love to see her on there. That would be awesome for sure. Most definitely. I'm just, I I man. would the one person I would love on there, fucking Kang. Yeah, I was thinking From King. Loki? I was I was thinking King. I, I think it's very possible or he could even, be here. Or even more wild. You know what would be, oh, be crazier than King? What? Fucking Loki. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. you, know, you know what sick that would be? <laughs> that He's would like, be yeah, I'm here. So, uh, yeah. Like, or, 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 or what is fucking Owen Wilson? <laughs> I was thinking Can of you that. Mobius? <laughs> Man, I would, oh. <laughs> Mobius will be dope. I, I, I legit PC think... Strange? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I legit think Kang has got a, a good shot. Yeah, um, I, so I, I would I would put him as four. I, I don't know if I can lock into two more because I, I, I want to say Victor, but I don't. Mm-hmm. I, really, I, like, I really don't. I, I, don't I, think, I don't think they'll do Victor. If, I, if, if yeah. they do Victor, I'll be very surprised. Uh, yeah, I'll be very surprised. Also, I just I don't think that's fitting for him. You know, like mm-hmm. I, I, he, I, he deserves to be on the Illuminati, of course, but he deserves a much grander. Yeah, intro. Yeah, 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 like, I can yeah. see. I can see if if and if Reed's not there, I can King makes sense because King is a descendant of Reed. No, oh, I know that. Yeah, he's he's he's. Something rich or something, guy's name, but like it's mm. it's he's a descendant, so it makes sense. I could see them both being on there, like legit. King like, and Reed, yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. I, I, I'm put like if I had, I'd say Professor X, Reed, Namor, and King. Those are the four that I feel like are have good. good. And and the dude with the stick is, I would say, yeah, I, I like the idea of Blade a lot mm-hmm. now that we've really talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so again, I love the idea of Deadpool. I just, I'm just yeah. still not convinced. I can see him being there. Yeah, I don't see him being on the council. Like, right. Him, I, I, I see him being in that building somewhere. Yeah. Either they're like exam. It, it, it can be a, a, sim- a sign or a or a scene as simple as Strange is walking through past a room. And when you look in that room, it's like Deadpool hooked up to another b- a bunch of like nodes and stuff, and they're like, "So where are you from?" And it's like, "I'm from the Fox universe." Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, and it's like, how much do I have to pay to get Mickey Mouse to give me a movie? Like stuff. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. Think, and they're like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" Right. But the the meta thing is he actually does know what's going on. He's the right. one person who actually knows. There's all movie. Yeah, we're all characters. Like, right, he's actually telling the truth. Yeah, you know? and I feel like I, on one hand, I feel like they if they did actually, I love that idea. If they did actually want to put him on the Illuminati, I really do think they could make it work. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, I think that that's that's just yeah, like for a character that is that Anarchist, fluid yeah. and anarch- I, like like he can be if he's on the Illuminati, like what even is the MCU anymore? Yeah. You know, it, it's like fucking yeah. it, like I can like, see yeah, I can see him being in the Illuminati base somewhere. Yeah, and then like experimenting on him or like interrogating him, something. I can yeah. see that. Yeah, I but like I don't that. See idea. him being actually on the Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. I can see that. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, in terms of, I can see Blade because he he covers the supernatural element. The and I don't mean like magic because like magic and like vampire shit is just different. Like mm. it's a different. Like Marvel's usually really good at being like, this is this kind of magic and this magic. Is different than this magic. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. you have Doctor Strange magic, you have Asgardian magic. Yeah, yeah. Right? Totally. They're different things, but they're still magic. So like I can see them being like, okay, like we have the we have the we have the actual like spooky horror stuff with Blade. And then we have and which would make sense because there's gonna be a lot of that. Like yeah. there, there's gonna be a Ghost Rider, there's Moon Knight, there's all the Midnight Sun stuff. They could really run the gambit with that to right. introduce this new horror magic centric version of marvel because mm-hmm. like we already have moon knight moon knight's coming out yeah before this movie so for we're, sure we're already, i mean we already have moon knight mm-hmm. i mean hell i wouldn't be, i wouldn't be surprised if moon knight pops up somewhere. i was thinking too yeah maybe Not the illuminati, yeah i don't think he would be because on, he's fucking yeah. nuts yeah but exactly like, <laughs> I just being 
in the movie somehow. Right, yeah, He's yeah. just around, and Doctor Strange is like, oh, it's... That guy's possessed by a moon god. That's weird. Yeah. You know, something like that. But, yeah. like, I can see... Yeah, Blade kind of makes sense. Just in, just in that sense of, like, he wouldn't want to be there. He'd be, like, the grumpy dude in the corner right. that doesn't want to be there. But that could work. But he's there sure. because he's like, all right, if I don't do this, my universe is going to be fucking erased. Yeah. And then maybe that's how they, like justify all these new people just popping up because then in the movie the universe is like meld like all yeah. these new universes yeah like that i definitely together. think that's what they're leading yeah. to it kind of a, a no way home situation but much more permanent yeah. you know because they're they're gonna want to bring i i think they're really establishing so actually let's go into that so we, we talked about all this stuff so professor x comes out and he mm-hmm. says you know basically has one line he said why don't we tell him the truth yeah so what exactly do we think he's referring to yeah, what when he talks? Truth? What is the truth? Yeah. So, it, you know, it, that, of course, opens up a massive can of worms, especially considering this fucker's coming from an entire different exactly. series. So, is is the truth that, you know, strange as world, our MCU is basically an extremely small point in a much grander universe that Professor X has been seeing since, like, 2000. Because right. fucking, you know, from the yeah. original X-Men. Well, what do we think that is? So, like, I could see I could see it being, like, either... Because, I mean, Strange already knows about the old multiverse. He's been mentioning the multiverse since, what, like, Strange 1. Where it's, like, the multiverse is something we know frighteningly little about. Remember? Like, yeah. I think it was... I forgot who said it, but somebody said I, that. I thought... Was that Far From Home? Or? He said... They said that... Even before that, okay. the strange movie where like the multiverse and you know, frightening little guy. Gotcha. So like, there's that, right? So we already he already knows that, but it could be like maybe there have been alterations already made to the Marvel universe that we know that we just don't know about. So we've just been blissfully unaware of what the actual beginning of the Marvel universe. What if the actual beginning to the Marvel universe? was the Fox universe where mutants were around yada 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 and then in the beginning with like Tony Stark becoming Iron Man blah 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 something happened something happened and it like like uh, the runes of Kof called the entire world kind of like he did with Spider-Man because like the thing that's the thing that people don't realize about Spider-Man that, I, that I've been like I've been kind of watching it and I'm like this is kind of weird and this the implication of this is huge if there is a spell that exists in the MCU that can make everybody forget about someone or people or an entire species of people and not only forget, but it changes reality to fit those altered memories. Yeah. That means the X-Men could have always been there the whole time. That's true. And somebody just did the spell and no one knew the X-Men existed. Even all, strange. Yeah. All the things they did. What if, what if the truth is that Patrick Stewart went to Strange or a variant of Strange in the very beginning or the the, the, the elder one or the, the, the ancient one. Mm-hmm. Her? What if Patrick Stewart went to her and was like, mutant kind is getting the short end of the stick. We need to be, we need to, we need to exist in secret. Can you please make it so everyone just forgets mutants are a thing? And yeah. maybe she did that spell originally and made everyone in the world forget about mutants. That's wow, yeah, absolutely. And, and we also have to think about it too that because so if we're including the movie Logan into this, mm-hmm. then Professor X dies in that movie. Well, I mean, he dies in a timeline, yeah, exactly. Because so, remember, like, in the so in the days of future past, remember, there's like multiple times, like, I'm still not very clear on what that timeline, yeah, it was pretty confusing, looks like, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. you have. Days of Future Past ending one, we're like, they're in the past still. Mm. Then Days of Future Past ending two, where they're all back at the mansion. Yeah. And then Logan. I need to watch that movie again. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, it, it's weird. It like, I can't, yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. Like, it's a little bit fucked. Yeah. But, but also, uh, with that, what you're saying is awesome. And if they really wanted to, I'm not sure if this is the right route, they could even get a little meta with it. They could be like, they could kind of imply like, of course, they're not going to say we were part of a 20th Century Fox production, and now we're you know. Yeah. But they can say like you know we were a team you know back in the day that people you know loved and, and we saved the world and, and stuff like that. But uh, due to the nature of the world or whatnot, then you know we had to. Yeah, they forgot about us. Exa- and they forgot about us or, or something or, like that. Or they were they persecuted us, and because they persecuted us, 
we had to make them forget about right. us. Right. Until, until they were ready. Yeah. And like, now they're ready. With the right intricate writing, they could make it like a wink. You know, yeah. kind of like, you know, kind of like this thing. It's like, you know, like, we know that these guys haven't existed forever, but people did love them. Mm-hmm. And, and because of that, you know, and they paved the way. Yeah, like, yeah like, absolutely. The, the X Men walked so Avengers can run. I mean, X X Men. I mean, they even they were before Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they were really the first. They they in weren't as big like, as Spider Man. In terms of a, a team of superheroes, and granted, you can argue that like X Men, the movie wasn't as much as a like superhero spandex and tights. Oh, absolutely. No, 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 for sure. They were still a team of superpower individuals fighting for the greater good. And they were, and they were the first comic book movie that I can remember that people, just anybody wanted to go see. Like, I remember my dad being like, let's go see X-Men. Yeah. It's like, I'm like a, you know, a 10 year old kid. I'm like, why are you psyched about this movie? I'm psyched about this. Why are you psyched about this? I thought you were an adult. Exactly. So, So, yeah, yeah, like, they can easily be like, yeah, like in, in our world like this this is the this was this was the status quo. yeah, yeah this yeah. was the status quo and then because of how black latex was the status quo <laughs> but, uh, because something happened we had to like we had to like go into hiding and us going into hiding was you doing the spell and changing reality so we could still be x-men but we're just in secret and like they could they could even get into crazy would be like yeah actually oh man they could they could have patrick stewart being like Fox is X Men. They can be like, actually, there are X Men in your universe right now that have been hiding the entire time. Yeah, and that can be the new X Men. Yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah. can be the new Absolutely. cast of X Men. That yeah, could be the truth. Been, it's like we've we, been here the whole time, yeah. but we couldn't show ourselves because we were persecuted. So we had the Ancient One hide our identity or yeah. hide that we were even existed. So now when we pop out, people just think we're just regular superheroes. They don't know about mutants. Yeah. And they can even they can even yeah. retroactively be like, yeah, attack on New York, we were there and we were helping. <laughs> yeah. We just didn't see us. But we were there. We were helping you in the attack on New York. Dang man. That For could be sure. they could they could easily write them in to key moments. And that's why I also think not to go back to the the Illuminati or who's in it, but I also think it is possible that the Illuminati could just be all X Men. It could be a situation where it's 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 Professor X and then, you know, of course his closest people maybe maybe Wolverine, maybe Magneto, Gene, Gene mm-hmm. um, you know, and stuff like that. It could just be a situation where, you know, why don't we tell them the truth? Like we've we've kind of been running this shit the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like like, you know, the with mutants we forget because of what the MCU is uh, hold some of the most powerful mm-hmm. heroes in the entirety of Marvel, oh, yeah. and and all of this. They look stuff. at Jane. Yeah, exactly. Like they right. can do this shit. They can pull this off. Or Absolutely. what they can do is they can have they can have it just be the X Men, and uh, it can be like the top three members of the X Men, and then the Fantastic Four. That'd be cool. So it can be like, well, Johnny. Yeah, I was gonna feel like a Johnny wouldn't be on that. But there. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Sue Reed. Maybe Ben. No, he can, <laughs> he can be part of the security task force. <laughs> but you can have like he can be the guy like torturing Deadpool, like you there. said. Like, hey, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah, like you can have, you can have. He's like, he's like wrong answers, clobbering. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can have like Sue, Reed, King is is Fantasy Four adjacent. That kind of works, I guess. He's yeah. a descendant of Reed. Yeah. Eh, you know whatever. Yeah. Then you can have like. You know, Professor X, Magneto, like Gene. Yeah, I, I think that I, I could see that. I could really see it being like a, like basically the character, half half, like the Fox people. It's yeah, the Fox people. it might not be the Illuminati as we know. It might be more of this Illuminati that's been behind the scenes in the MCU, which mm-hmm. would be people that we have not seen in the MCU forever. forever. Yeah, yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah, Professor X, that kind of stuff. So, like, man. Or you know what? Let's get let's get really crazy with it. What if <laughs> we haven't been crazy with it yet? <laughs> what if fucking Toby's there? Oh my god! Wouldn't dude. that be fucking dope? <laughs> but he's like, but like, what if it's like older Toby? Like yeah. He's like more grizzly, like looks older, has like a beard, like he's been through some shit. He's like, yeah, I was Spider Man, but now I'm like. Now I'm, I gotta handle the multiverse because I know it exists now. Dude, Raimi's directing this shit, man. Like, Fuck yeah. all that. The Illuminati are just all the iterations of Bruce. 
that's all it is. It's just we forgot to bring that up yeah. earlier. It's just all the different Bruce Campbells. It's, it's it's the it's the wrestler announcer, the waiter, the the person that was in charge of trying to let Peter into the play. It's just those three. And, and just other. Ash, like Ash is and here for that, some yeah. reason. Ash, it's, it's Ash from Evil Dead. It's that dude from Burn Notice. <laughs> The guy, the guy. It's just him. It's just him. The, the, this, this, this dude we're all thinking is Professor X. It's, it's just, just fucking Bruce Campbell with a bald head. <laughs> with, with like the best Patrick Stewart impression. <laughs> he can muster. Tell him the truth. We're all Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> the MCU is over. Oh, man. Oh, man. Holy shit. No, but like, yeah, dude, like, the I, possibilities are yeah, fucking insane. Honestly, at this point, like, this is not speculation. This is us just throwing shit at Totally, around. absolutely. Because, like, there's... What else can we do? Yeah, there's no way... Like, there's no rhyme or reason. Like, yeah, you have the poster thing. You have the thing with uh, Kevin Carter. That'd be cool if she was in there. And I th- still think she has a pretty good shot of being in there. But, like, well, who knows yeah. at this point? It could be anyone. And also... As Hell, we... it could be The Watcher. The Watcher could be there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I almost brought up something earlier. I didn't want to get depressing. But, man, I wish Stan Lee could be there. <laughs> like that would be oh you know what they're gonna do? I guarantee there's gonna be like a statue of him somewhere I hope so I hope so man like okay, like imagine if he was still alive and he was just or even better just been, been cameoing through all these or, movies or it's like or it's just like he was uh, he founded the Illuminati He's yeah. the one that made it and yeah. took us from our dimension. Could you imagine, like, oh. a, a chair turn around and he's like, <laughs> Excelsior. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the truth now. <laughs> You're all fucking comic book characters. Yeah, man, like, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be so dope. I made all of you. <laughs> it'd be so dope if it's like, yeah, just like a statue of him. Yeah. Like a statue of him. Or, like, honestly, this is the one time where I'd be okay if they like cg'd him in yeah, not for a big part just for like a quick little like oh that's our founder and he's just like in an office somewhere like drawing yeah yeah wouldn't that be dope yeah that would be really oh. dope for, I, I like i was gonna say oh. the cg I, I don't want someone i don't think i want someone voice again no but, like, like just it, him like yeah. just in a room like drawn and like yeah like, like a little wave he's like, <laughs> <laughs> we, just him, we just let him do his thing. He's like draw, He's clearly drawing something. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> Man, dude. I, I did. Honestly, yeah. Exactly. We are like. There's nothing you can do other than spitball. The yeah. possibilities. Are, and, and Marvel has has written themselves into basically an infallible position, as we've talked about before, because there's there's no real plot holes anymore. Like, everything can just be explained by multiverse. being, like, a variant or a multiverse. multiverse. And that's comics, though. Yep, that, that like, that's comic fucking comics. comics. At any point in the comics when you say, that doesn't make any sense, I'm like, oh, yeah? Multiverse. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> right, exactly. It's, it's insane. Legitimately, anything could happen mm-hmm. in this movie. Absolutely anything. Um, but I love our theories on the truth. I, I love the man. Like uh, <laughs> Cumberbatch said a long time ago, I think he mentioned something along the lines of like, if you thought No Way Home was crazy, like, and I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding now me? I'm like, now I'm like, he's probably right. Yeah, probably right. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, this is absolutely insane. Um, let's see where we're at here. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're gonna cut it here because I mean, we'll get we can just talk forever. Yeah. Um, but. I, dude, I don't know. Come up with your own theories. Uh, if you got anything, post them in the comments or anything and all that stuff. But uh, thank you all for watching. The Spidey Squad. Yep. We keep going, man. We keep yep. going. We Spidey got Spidey Squad Illuminati. Yeah, we got we, we got we got so much to say. Maybe you'll be on the Illuminati. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're maybe fucking like, there. Hello. I just <laughs> <laughs> it's, just me, it's just me fucking holding Basil. Hello. <laughs> Basil's on the Illuminati. If you don't know Basil. <laughs> Is a, a beagle that I have the pleasure of knowing. That is the fattest beagle ever, and he's the best. He is the best. He is the nicest dog ever. He's the best. But he literally snorts like a pig when he walks, <laughs> and it's adorable. It's adorable, but but he can he can run the MCU. Oh yeah, I can see that. <laughs> That's just him. Tell him the truth. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for watching us rant. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to keep doing these, of course, when the movie comes out. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Probably well, going to do something for Moon Knight. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I Definitely. i, I got to be there. Then Yeah, we'll have so much more. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear me gush about that because Moon Knight. Oof. 
<laughs> very, very excited. Very, right. very excited. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you get some enjoyment out of this. Um, thank you so much for, for chatting with me, as no problem, usual, man. my friend. Um, and we will see you guys again very soon. Yeah, see you in the future. In the madness. Yep.